Hello and a very warm welcome to Soro Sir's classes. Today's tutorial will be on civil engineering. In case of any query, you can contact us on this number, which is nine eight three six seven nine three zero seven six. We make tutorials not only on topic related to civil engineering, but topics that are also related to mechanical engineering, physics, chemistry, mathematics, economics, accountancy, geology, etc. So, if you want to have access to those tutorial, you can check in our website, which is www.sorosurclasses.com. Let us read the question which is given to us. The question reads as a short reach of two meter wide rectangular open channel has its bed level rising in the direction of flow at a slope of this in ten thousand. It carries a discharge of this and its Manning roughness coefficient is this. The flow is this reach is gradually varying at a certain section of this reach the depth of the flow was measured at this the rate of change of water depth with distance is this at this section is this so we need to find out at a certain section in this reach the depth of flow was measured as this the rate of change of water depth with distance at this section is so we need to find out this section isn't it so let's get started for this we need to insert a page change the color of the ink and now we get started now given what is given to us adverse slope and say i'm denoting it by s subscript zero is one minus ten thousand Theta is given to us as 4, n is 0 0.01 and y is 0.5. Okay. Now, the rate of change of the water depth with distance is given by dy by d, dx is equal to s naught minus sf by 1 minus fr square now fr is nothing but capital b y under root g y and this is equal to or can be written as q by b y under root g y we have the values, so let us substitute the values. Q is 4, 2 into 0.5 into under root 10 into 0.5. And this can be written as 1.79. Now, Q is equal to 1 by N A R. 2 by 3 s f 1 by 2 we know this now s f 1 by 2 is equal to q into n a r this is just i i am i have kept s f s on one side and i have shifted everything to the other side now i'll substitute all the values given to us and this is 2 into 0.5 2 plus 1 to the power 2 by 3. So SF will become 6.29 into 10 to the power minus 3. Now putting values of values of S naught, SF and FR in dy dx equation that was dy by dx which we have written as this so we'll substitute in this equation okay so in 
this equation we will get so dy dx is equal to 1 by 10,000 minus 6.292 into 10 to the power minus 3 by 1 minus 1.79 square. This is equal to 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 or e equal to 0 0.0032. So this is nothing but the rate of change of water depth with distance, isn't it? So let us fill the blank. So what we can say is that this will be the dy dx or the rate of change of water depth with distance at this section which was given okay so i hope this short tutorial on civil engineering was helpful if it was then please hit the like button subscribe to our channel share our videos and thank you so much for watching